Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will talk about half wave rectifiers. Now, before going into the actual rectifier um, discussion, let's clarify some of the um, uh, conceptual points. If this is the circuit and we have a DC input supplying to the circuit and there is a break here so it's open circuit so what will be the output voltage in this case now since there is no current flowing through this so there will be no voltage drop here therefore whatever is the voltage here will appear at the output so V output will be equal to source voltage and the same case is true whether if the signal is sinusoidal signal still the output will be equal to source voltage another scenario what if the output terminal is short circuited so in the case of a short circuit maximum current will flow through the circuit but since there is no resistance in this branch therefore here there will be no voltage drop because r is zero so i into zero will give us a zero output so when it's a short circuit output will be zero volt and same is true even if this signal is uh, alternating signal okay one more uh, point if in the circuit we have two batteries one is 12 volt and other is three volt battery what will be the output if we are taking output at this point across point a so this will be uh, the voltage of the battery in that branch because although this is greater and net current or uh, net voltage applied across the circuit will be 12 minus 3 that is 9 volt and the current will flow because of the 9 volt and therefore there will be voltage drop here but at this terminal the voltage drop will remain constant uh, that is equal to this battery so it is 3 volt okay now the logic we are going to apply onto the, the case of a diode and uh, in this case we have replaced the 3 volt battery with a diode and uh, we know that the diode requires 0.7 volts if it is a silicon diode it would require 0.7 volts applied across this to make it forward bias so before that there will be no current flowing but the moment the voltage here is 0.7 volt this will become behave like a short circuit and the current will start flowing and if in the ideal case we assume this diode to be a short circuit it is just an assumption not the actual diode so in case of a short circuit then the output voltage in case of ideal diode it would be zero volt and as we discussed earlier in case of a silicon diode this diode is replaced by 0.7 volt battery so the output will be 0.7 volt and in case if it was a germanium uh, diode then it will be 0.3 volt so this is the uh, main uh, difference we'll discuss both uh, in the subsequent problems with the, uh, whether it is an ideal diode case or a practical diode case now if it is in the problem it is not mentioned then generally we assume it to be an ideal diode case okay now what will happen when the battery polarity is reversed so this is a reverse bias and I hope uh, you know uh, that when the positive terminal of the battery touches the positive terminal of diode this makes the diode forward bias and when the positive terminal of the battery touches the negative terminal of the diode then it makes it reverse bias so you have to keep this point in mind so now in this case the positive terminal of the battery is touching the negative terminal of diode this is negative terminal of diode therefore 
this is reverse bias so the diode will behave like an open circuit no current will flow and so the, the total voltage negative 12 volt will appear across this so the output the, this is behaving like an open circuit and so the output is negative 12 volt so these are uh, the basic concepts now let's go into the actual circuit now in the uh, various books several circuits are shown so this is one of the uh, diagram uh, vi is given here and the diode and resistance and this is grounded another types of circuit could be like this that the source is here source is also grounded and diode resistance is also grounded so this completes the circuit and in some book it is completed the whole connection is completed and yet another book and they have used the transformer to lower down the 220 volt to let's say 9 volt or 6 volt and then apply to the rectifier circuit so this is the practical circuit that we use we, we can make mobile chargers or uh, things like that so this type of circuit is used for that okay now let's uh, take the first case where uh, we are applying the input voltage a sinusoidal signal the signal has a maximum amplitude of vm or peak peak voltage and uh, because it is sinusoidal so we can write it vi is equal to vm sin omega t now what is the effect of application of this voltage into this rectifier circuit let's see okay so the first half is the positive half that means there is a positive here and negative here and because of this there will be a current flow uh, from positive terminal going and coming to uh, the negative terminal and we if we assume this to be an ideal diode that means this is a short circuit so all this voltage will appear across the output so the whatever was in the first half cycle the same will appear uh, at, at the output okay now let's go to the negative half cycle in the negative half cycle this will become negative and the bottom will become positive and as we already discussed that if the positive terminal touches the negative terminal this becomes negative uh, reverse bias or if the negative terminal touches the positive terminal of diode this also makes it reverse bias so this is a reverse bias uh, condition and uh, in the case of uh, we know that in reverse bias diode does not conduct it behaves like an open circuit so it is open circuit now so no current will flow through this path and therefore since there is no current so V into IR will be zero because current is zero and therefore output will be zero volt and we can therefore for the second half the output will plot it like this to be zero volt so this was the first half and the input was positive but this is the output for the second half when the input is negative okay and now this was the circuit that we discussed for the positive half cycle now the change here we are making is that this is now no more an ideal diode we are saying that this is a practical diode and therefore in case of a practical diode there will be a 0 0.7 volt of opposition or we have to overcome this voltage so we represent it by a 0 0.7 volt battery okay so now uh, again we, we are here let's say we have a 0 0.1 volt that will not make this diode forward bias so there will be no current flow and the output will be zero then let's say it is 0 0.2 volt still output zero let's say it is 0 0.5 five volt still output will be zero the moment it crosses 0.7 let's say it is 0.8 volt then this diode will become forward bias and the current due to 0.8 minus 0.7 will flow here 
and that is why we say that output is now vi whatever is the input minus vd or minus 0.7 volt now let's see graphically we starting from here the input is 0 then input is 1 then input is uh, sorry 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 we end up to 0 0.7 as we discussed here that up to 0 0.7 there will be no current flow and so the output will be zero so the output is zero here up to that point this line is showing this and then after that the moment it crosses or becomes more than 0 0.7 volt then the output will start uh, flowing and this will be the graph Sim similarly the moment the falling output becomes less than 0 0.7 volt again the diode will stop conducting and there will be no output so in this region also there will be no output one more change the output now will be vm minus 0.7 or vm minus vd and to draw the easiest way is that at the 0 0.7 volt line we we draw a line and we shift our zero origin from here to at this point and then you just uh, cut the bottom part so this is how you will get the output so this is an easy way of drawing okay now one more uh, thing we'll discuss the dc value so what is a dc value this was the original input signal and the DC value in this case of course is zero because plus minus plus minus cancels. This is the output signal that we got of the half wave rectifier. So what will be the DC value? DC value is like if you say um, you have a dough for bread making and you keep pressing, pressing, pressing all the doughs then it will become flat. So this flat line will represent the DC value and the formula for this calculating DC value is it is 0 0.318 Vm so maximum voltage. This is this formula is used when the diode is ideal diode. If the diode was real diode then we know that the peak voltage will now be Vm minus 0 0.7 so our formula for Vdc will be 0 0.318 Vm minus Vt or Vd or 0 0.7 and this is the DC line. Now before we finish uh, let's do a short example here. Draw the output voltage this is the input signal input it at this rectifier circuit we have to draw the output voltage voltage across RL assume diode to be in first case ideal diode and in second case 1 and 401 now see the difference if there was not mentioned then we assume it to be ideal diode but if it is mentioned that it is 1 and 401 that means this is a real diode and this is a silicon diode and therefore in case of silicon diode we will have to consider a 0 0.7 volt drop here so let's see the first case ideal diode so in case of ideal diode this will be treated this point will be treated as a short circuit so whatever was the input that will appear across the output the positive half of course not the negative half negative will be uh, cut and so the V output will be 5 volt and this is how the output will look like. Now in case of a, a 114001 this is a silicon diode so the output will now be reduced by 0.7 volt so V output is 4.3 volt 5 minus 0 0.7 43 uh, 4.3 volt this ideal diode uh, the diode has now been replaced by 0 0.7 volt battery and the output will now instead of 5 volt it will now be 
5 minus 0 0.7 that is up to 4.3 volt. So I hope this gives you some idea. We'll do some more problems in the next video.